In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a video from YouTube or Vimeo that has sound onto your website and show it. I'm also going to show you how to set your website up so you can have a button that will open up a video in your show it website without having the video show right away from the beginning. So first thing you need to do is upload your video to Vimeo or YouTube. Then once you have that video uploaded, you'll go ahead and copy the link for the video. So you just copy that link or you can copy the one from the top of your browser. Head back over to your show it site and from the very bottom panel, um, hover over in the middle option and select video. That'll add this little box and then over in the top right panel, you'll click video. You can select the drop down of either Vimeo or YouTube. In this case, we're using YouTube. And then you'll paste that link right in there and then adjust any other settings you need. Um, so that will put your video right on your canvas. Now, um, let's say you want to have it so that you can click on a button and then it'll open up the video in its own kind of window. So the easiest way to do this is we're going to delete this right here and you're going to want to make sure you have your original canvas showing, um, you know, that will actually show on your, your website page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a, a new blank canvas and uh, um, scroll down to that canvas, extend it a little bit, and we're going to make it so that this canvas is... Um, I'm actually going to make it totally black. I'm going to put a over layer of opacity at maybe 95%. Same thing on mobile. And that will give it that look of kind of being in, in your own little theater space when you watch the video. Now we also want to make sure that we set up this canvas to cover the whole entirety of the screen. So we'll change that to window height. Same thing on mobile, window height. We also want to stick it to the very top of the page or top um, of the page when it shows up. So we'll set it to top and top on desktop as well. Um, we don't want this video showing right away. Um, rather, we want it to show up when someone clicks. Mm -hmm. So we'll hit that it's hidden to start. Same thing on mobile. And then we also want to make sure that when we click the button to view the video, that that video actually shows up. And if this canvas is stacked below another canvas, then it won't show up. So I'm just going to, for example, purposes of this video, set this to 100. So we got that at 100. Um, now it's time to add our video in here. So we'll do the same thing. We'll pull in the video here. We will change that to YouTube and paste in the link. Um, now I'm going to actually make this video a lot larger and position that right in the center. Um, maybe I won't make it quite so big. We'll just place it right in the center. And then on mobile, I'm going to just kind of adjust that so that it's filling the screen width wise. Um, now we don't want people stuck on this video when they watch it. We want them to be able to exit it. So to do, um, we'll want to add an icon and drag that icon. People are used to that being that X being in the top right corner. Um, so we'll set that up there and we'll choose an X over here. I'm going to change the site or the color of that to white. So it shows up really well. Same thing on mobile, we'll change that to white. And then I'm also going to make sure that on mobile, this is vertically locked to the top. So even though this um, canvas will extend bigger as needed, that X will always be on the top. Same thing on desktop, we want that to be um, vertically locked to the top and then also horizontally locked to the very right side. Um, now this, um, icon isn't going to do anything unless we tell it to. So we need to go to click actions and add a click action for this button to hide a canvas. And we're going to say this canvas. So everything's set up here. Um, now we need to go back and set up our links to sh actually show that canvas. So we'll go ahead and click the button and we're going to 
this uh, on click actions over here we'll make sure this is set to show a canvas and we're going to show um it's actually named ca new canvas one you'll probably want to actually name your canvases but that's um what it is here and then i'll maybe also change this little arrow or carrot to show the canvas as well so when we preview this and then we click that button, we'll see that that video shows up on um, that dark black background. And then they can also X out if they need to. So to take this one step further, something that just creates more of an intuitive um, user experience is um, a lot of times when you're in a window like this, people are used to being able to like click just in the background to exit that view. So um, to do that, we'll hit X, we'll actually go back to our canvas or our builder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle that fills the whole entirety of the canvas. So it's going to be 1200 width. I'll center that and make sure it's extends the whole width of the canvas when it grows. And then it looks like we have a height of 803. So we're gonna change that height there and center that, make sure it grows. Same thing on mobile, we'll change that to fill the whole entirety of the canvas. Make sure it extends. Now we'll wanna drag that behind everything else. And then I'm going to just change that to be a transparent color on mobile and desktop. Now, one last thing, we need to set up our click action. So we'll go to click actions and hit high canvas and this canvas. So when we preview our design, refresh it and then click to open that. Now we can actually click outside of the video anywhere to close the video. And that will just add one more element of um, user like ease of use on your website, just something that they would expect to happen when they click. Same thing on mobile. So um, that is how to add a video to your website and uh, link a video to a more full screen version um, of your video from video, Vimeo or YouTube.